Hey up everybody, moving on to the next part of my micro stroke mini lathe that I'm building. In the last part I did this uh, screw cutting mechanism. Uh, if you've not seen that, take a look at that. So in this part then I'm going to move on to the rest of this apron and get the uh, carriage mechanism uh, and handle made etc. So we'll get my thinking cap on and we'll have a look at this next then. On a normal lathe you normally have a rack, a separate rack above the lead screw to work your carriage traverse with your handle. Well obviously I've not got room for that so what I've thought of doing because this the pitch of this lead screw although it's smaller than my Myford it's got the same pitch so I've took this thread dial off my Myford just to have a look at the uh, gear that's on it and I think if I make a gear same as my threading dial gear I'll be able to use the bottom of the lead screw as a rack the only snag is if I have a direct drive normally when you're turning your handle anti-clockwise the carriage will move into the choke but if I have a direct drive the carriage is going to come this way so I've got to put an intermediate gear in so that when I turn my carriage handle that'll run the intermediate gear and turn the lathe and turn the lead screw gear the opposite way which in turn will make the carriage go the correct way it'll all make sense I think as I go along but uh, I ain't got a lot of room in here to, to play around with so uh, I've got a bit, bit of faffing around to do I think and like I've said before in past you know plans can change so I'll have a think about this and then uh, probably start making a gear up and see if I can uh, come up with some dimensions for a, a little gearbox So that's the Myford uh, threading dial that they put on the lead screw. It's got the same pitch as the one I've done, but on the Myford it's a bit bigger diameter lead screw. Instead of I've done this half inch, it's three quarter on my Myford. Uh, but but that spare gear seems to work fine. I know what you're saying. Uh, it's supposed to be really uh, this. This gear is supposed to be uh, hobbed to make it a worm, a, wor a proper worm drive. But it's never going to be a proper worm drive, is it? Because this is a lead screw, so it's got a different, um, it's got different dimensions than a worm. So what I'm going to do then? I'm going to make three gears up, one at 32 teeth, inch 1.417 diameter on a 24 dp. Make the others three quarter diameter half the size 16 teeth on a 24 dp but one of these I'm going to put a six degree uh, angle on to match this lead screw angle and I'll also put a little uh, radius uh, in it so it tucks into that diameter of the lead screw a little bit better that works fine on my fed it's just a spur a normal spur gear and on this lathe there's not going to be a lot of forces attached to it um, so it's going to be one of them jobs where I've got to just uh, suck it and see I think then when I, once I get these gears made up, I, I can then I've got something physical to work with and handle. I can uh, fathom out what I'm going to do inside to hold these gears inside and on the handle. The only difference is going to be uh, from a standard lathe with a normal saddle is when the lead screw is engaged on the uh, gearing, not the actual screw cutting nut. But when the lead screw is actually turning, this handle is going to be turning all the time. 
until I get hold of it, then it'll just it'll it'll just work as normal. Uh, and when the lead screw is not turning, it'll be like a normal carriage on a lathe. That's going to be the only difference. So uh, I've waffled on a bit too much there. So let's crack on then and get these three three gears made. Right. So I'm just going to make these gears out of some lumps of uh, offcuts of bronze or brass. That I've, got, that I've had lying around. I will have to make a mandrel to, to fix them on to do the actual gear cutting. I've got to have the actual gear blank stuck away from the chuck when it's in me um, when it's in me dividing head because of the cutter uh, diameter or radius so it doesn't catch on the chuck. I've got my gear blank set in, in my uh, dividing head. So what I'm, what I'm trying to do here then, I'm trying to replicate something similar to a worm drive, but it's not a true worm drive because it's my lead screw. So if I just move your camera over here, here's a proper worm drive on my dividing head. That's the actual uh, teeth and that's the actual worm which you can see it's nothing like the lead screw so all I'm doing is trying to replicate something similar to that worm drive so have I got this six and a half degrees then on my dividing head tilted well it's not rocket science uh, I suppose you could use a sign bar but having only used a angle gauge on my lead screw to get the approximate angle of the helix there's no point in me setting this up with a sign bar so I'm just using the same setting I've got of my lead screw I've put some parallels on my uh, vise I've tilted up the dividing head and I've eyeballed it along this protractor and that's given me as near as damn it me six and a half degrees when I do the other two gears, I'll just resort back to a standard horizontal toothed spare gear. Also, because this gear is now set at an angle in my, in my vise, I've set my centre height of my tool to the centre height of the root of that radius. So, as I'm cutting, this side will be a lit little higher than centre right, this side will be a little lower than centre right, then the centre right, the mean centre height will be in the centre of the gear. So that's my plan anyway, yeah. if it don't work, we'll just make another. Right, I'm, I'm just about ready for cutting now. Uh, my dividing head, I've got a 20 hole plate on, that, that's the very outer edge of this one and I shall be going one full turn and a half a turn, ten holes on the plate that's for my 16 tooth one obviously it'll be different for my 32 tooth one and I've got two of these to do the actual depth I'm going to be cutting the teeth in at is um, 90 thousandths 
And that 90 thousandths is from the very root of my radius, because that, that's where it measures 750 diameter. Right, I finished the gears off now and I found out that this helical, this modified helical gear does fit a little bit better into that lead screw. Although the standard gear, it still works okay, just like the Myford uh, threading dial gear works okay. So, uh, I'm going to be using that modified gear for the lead screw. I was just about to cut this 32 tooth gear and I was looking through my drawers and uh, one of my drawers and I found these pair of gears and lo and behold the 24 dp and although this one's been modified I've made this blank for it and it is actually a 32 tooth gear you can just see the markings on it. So that saved me making that 32 tooth gear which I'm going to do. So I won't be making that one now and I'll use this one to mesh with that standard gear smaller to give me a 2 to 1 reduction and then I'll use this helical modified gear to fit on my lead screw. So I'm going to have a think about how I'm going to attach these to this apron now, so I'll do that in the next video I think. So uh, if you found that useful, informative, enjoyable, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And I'll catch you on the next part of this then. Thanks for watching, bye for now.